Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show a video on a really easy and a really cheap system for setting up aquaponics. I'm a guy that loves fish, have a bunch of fish tanks, and I wanted to get my feet wet in the whole aquaponics world. And there's lots of awesome videos on YouTube you've probably seen on how to set up aquaponics, what the benefits are, types of plants and substrates and all that. I just wanted to show you guys quickly how I set mine up and what's happening with it. The, the main part of this system here is my Fluval 205 canister filter. I'm using that to move the water. Um, and it's awesome because I'm pumping uh, really clean water into my aquaponics system. You know, it's been mechanically and biologically filtered. And so I'm not getting crap built up in my in my aquaponics system because that fluval obviously is doing an awesome job. The aquaponics system looks like that. It's pretty ghetto. Uh, it's not attractive, and it's like I said, a true beginner system. I bought a Rubbermaid Roughneck container from Home Depot. Bought a bulkhead from Home Depot. And as you can see here, my fluval canister filter is just pumping the water into this roughneck container that's filled with uh, hydroponic hydrocorn. And then it drains into my tank. Really easy system. The thing I like about the way I've set it up is that I can keep my tank full all the time. Um, that was one of the drawbacks I saw with some of the other systems is that, uh, you know, with the bell siphon and the aquaponics system on top, you had to keep your water levels down and I, that wasn't appealing to me. I wanted to set it up like this. So my tank is full and my aquaponics system is full. Inside, I'm growing mint. Normal mint that I bought from the grocery store. Mint is really awesome because it grows super fast, so you know it's pulling a lot of nitrates out. And uh, it's super hardy, and you can grow it right from cuttings you've gotten from the grocery store like me. So as you can see here, it's uh, growing roots or shoots, I can't remember, from the auxiliary Mary stems. <laughs> My bio classes were a while ago. And so... The mint has been great. Like I said, I just put it in the aquarium water and it's growing like crazy. This stuff is like three weeks old. And then this guy is new as of yesterday. And the thing I like about mint is because it grows so easy, you can monitor your water chemistry. And as your chemistry is changing, you can add or take out mint to kind of keep your nitrates at, this, at the level you want to keep them at. It's pretty easy. If you're producing no nitrates and you're like, my plants are going to die, you can, you know, pull some mint out. Or if your nitrates are shooting up super high, you're like, I got to add more plants. And that's kind of where I was at. I'm trying to keep my nitrates at about 10 ppm. I think that that's a level that provides a high enough concentration for the plants to grow. But, and it's also a level that's not toxic or harmful at all to the fish. And man, since I've set this up, my nitrates have been a beauty. Uh, and my fish are super healthy. They're reproducing like crazy still. I haven't noticed any uh, negative effects to my live bear tank here. And my wife likes to take the mint and make mojitos and teas and lemonade stuffs with it so she thinks it's kind of cool too um, for lighting I had some LED bulbs I got off of Amazon they're seven watts each so I just have three of them clumped together there and these are old like Christmas lawn things so like I said the whole system is super cheap but the mint is growing like crazy, so it's obviously enough light, and it's only using 21 watts per hour, which is, you know, almost nothing. And then I have this awesome tinfoil setup. 
because my office is right here and I didn't want the light shining in my eyes. That's kind of why I set that up. So I hope this gives you some ideas on how to set up uh, an aquaponics system. I set up another uh, like an overflow just in case I didn't want to flood anything. So this only will dump water if the water level gets too high. That was a little safety mechanism I put in. And then I have the water just dumping into the bottom of my uh, aquaponics system there. That's kind of neat with the clear rubber made watching the root system grow. So that's my that's how I set it up. I hope that gives you some ideas if you want to get started on how to set yours up. And I think it's a great way to control your nitrates to reduce the frequency of water changes for sure and uh, maybe get some food or something fun out of it at the same time. Thanks for watching guys.